Hi guys, it's Inamika4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to take a look at how to customize the lock screen on this device. First of all, let's take a look what it looks like at stock when you receive it. Pretty much that's it. You've got life companion, clock, day and month there as well. So as you can see, swipe through with a kind of a light effect as you get your finger going through the screen. We'll do that again. Notice the light following your finger. Swipe through there. We're going to show you how you can customize that screen. First off, let's go to menu, settings, my device, lock screen, and you'll see the first link there which gives you options for the way in which you can unlock the device. I've got it set to swipe, but you've got other options like face unlock, face voice, pattern, pin, password. Fairly standard options that we all used to, but I just wanted to show you where the option was. And while we're talking about how you can unlock the screen, if you look further down, you've got an option there for unlock effect, and I've got it currently set to light. So if we just lock it again, you got the light following your finger around before you swipe through eventually. You can change it to the ripple effect, which we all know what this is because this was taken from the Galaxy S3. So we'll get that set to ripple. And if we lock it again, it's like the device is in water. So swipe through again. And obviously you can set this to none if you wish, but I prefer it to be on the light effect. From here, if we go back one step, then go to display and then wallpaper and then lock screen. You can change what wallpaper is actually displayed on the lock screen when the device actually locks. So you've got the standard still image there or you can select a image from your gallery or use this travel live wallpaper which essentially gives you places of interest to travel around the world and you can sync it up to change every 3, 6, 12, 24 hours. So if I just set it to that for the time being and then lock the device it should give me a place of interest. There we go. And that's the, the Netherlands. So we'll just swipe through there. Go back another step to get back to the lock screen. So we're in my device, then lock screen now. Let's say, for example, you want to change the text that appears on the lock screen. So you want to change the live companion or the date and time. Just make sure you're in settings, my device, lock screen. Go to lock screen widgets. You'll see two options which are currently enabled, clock or personal message and edit personal message. We'll go through to the top one first. Essentially, this just allows you to change what's the biggest prominent text on the screen. So at the moment, you can see the personal message is set. That's why the live companion, which is a personal message, is set to be the prominent biggest text on the screen. If we change it to the clock, now you can see the clock is the biggest prominent text on the screen with the live companion now being the smallest one. It doesn't allow you to get rid of one or the other here. So we'll just leave it to personal message for the time being and hit save. Takes us back a step. This time we'll go to edit personal message and from here you can change what the text of the live companion actually is. Say if I want to remove live companion completely and put my custom text in to be, I don't know, bugger off. There we go. Whoops, if I can spell it. There we go. Say if I want to change the text color, for example, hit that first T there. I can change it to whatever color we have up here or in the scale underneath. I could leave out yellow looks good. We'll leave it out yellow. Say if I want to give it a border, hit that second T along. I could give it a blue border, black border, pink, yellow, white, whatever. But if I want to leave it transparent, hit that first square there with an X next to it and that will make it transparent. Now, unfortunately, you can't change the size of that particular font itself, but you can change it to other options like Choco Cookie. We've got Samsung Sans there. Say if we leave it at that. Now, unfortunately, the clock, day, and month do not have the same properties as the personal message above, so you cannot change the color, font type, or the background color to the clock, day, or month. The only thing that you can do is remove it so it no longer appears, and hit save, and then when you lock the screen, and then unlock it. Notice there's nothing else there, just the bugger off that we configured with the yellow font face there. So we swipe to go through, and I'm just gonna go back to edit personal message because I like the clock and the date and time to be there as well. So just make sure that's returned. Hurrah, it has. So we'll go back through again. Let's go back one step from here. And remember from the Galaxy S3 days, you had the shortcuts on the lock screen. That option is still apparent in the Galaxy S4. So under the lock screen, go to shortcuts and turn that slider to green towards the right hand side. Now, when you lock your screen, you should notice, there we go, lock screen shortcuts along the bottom. Now, if you haven't used this before, essentially you can go into the application straight away from here. So hold down and swipe away, and then it should take you straight into the application and here we have the camera. So we'll just go back from the lock screen. You can also configure what shortcuts appear at the bottom of the lock screen. So you go to shortcuts, make sure there's a green slider there. First of all, tap into it and you've got those five icons there. Now, if you say, for example, don't want the camera anymore, hold it down until you get a delete at the bottom of the screen, then simply drag and drop. Do the same for any others. 
and say if you want to add your own hit the plus sign it gives you a list of applications select what you want and it puts it there say if I want the camera back now or I'll add in BBC iPlayer those are the maximum of five you can add in there now when we lock the screen and then unlock it there we go we've got the five shortcuts appearing at the bottom of the lock screen so we'll swipe to go back through and then we'll go back an option. Now the final thing that I wanted to show you from here was widgets. The Galaxy S4 as standard already has one widget on the lock screen being the personalized message and the date and time there. So when you're in the lock screen you'll see an option for multiple widgets where it allows you to put more than one widget on the screen. Put a tick next to that. Then underneath go to lock screen widgets. From here you'll notice that option along the top is now visible and it allows you to use it. So it says favorite apps or camera make sure you slide that towards the right hand side so it is now green then tap into it. it gives you a couple of options here you've got favorite applications or you've got the camera favorite applications is essentially a widget on the screen which allows you to put 12 of your favorite applications on that screen and you can tap into them or you can set the camera so it's just an entire widget itself so as soon as you swipe to the pane with the camera on it it'll go straight into the application i'll show you the camera first of all so we hit save then lock the screen unlock it now we'll swipe right, there we have the camera and it should go straight into the application as we see there. So we'll just go back one again and we're back through to the lock screen widget section. So we'll go to favorite apps and camera and this time we'll go to favorite apps, make sure that's selected, hit save, then we'll lock it again. We unlock the device now and swipe towards the left hand side. Notice we don't go straight into the camera, we just go straight into our favorite applications widget which is essentially 12 icons of our favorite applications. If you want to edit these, just hit the pen symbol there. It gives you a minus symbol next to each icon and you can essentially get rid of anything you don't need just by tapping the minus and then it'll get rid of the application. As I say, the maximum you can have on here is 12 and you've got the add application on any free slots there. So once you tap it, it gives you the list of applications and you can add on whatever you want from there. Once you're done, hit the tick and then the minus symbols disappear. Notice the two empty slots I've still got visible with the add app icon there. Once you have multiple widgets enabled, you can essentially add up to six pages of widgets to your lock screen. So at the moment I've got two, one being the favorite applications, two being the personal message, nothing for the third. So we'll just add a third one in, being a calendar, just to quickly get that added in. We'll swipe right again, add on another one being a dash clock. We'll accept the extension there. We'll swipe right again. This time we'll do music, swipe right again, and I think this should be the last one. This time we'll add in the TV remote, and now if we try swiping right, that's the end of the line. So one, TV application, two, music, three, dash clock, four, calendar, fifth, personal message, and six, the favorite applications widget here. If you want to remove any widgets that you've applied, just go to your widget, for example, the calendar one that I've got here, hold it down, you'll get a remove towards the top of the screen. Just drag and drop, and then that gets rid of the widget that you've applied there. If you want to remove the favorite applications widget that we had applied first, essentially just go into the device, go to menu, settings, lock screen, and then go to lock screen widgets and just turn that slider off for where it says favorite applications or camera. Now when you go and unlock the device, swipe right and that favorite application slash camera widget is not there, but you will have the remaining widgets that you applied. And if we swipe back through to the main widget itself being the personalized message, you can edit this from the lock screen here. So notice the pen, tap on it and it allows you to go straight into the editor for it and you can edit it from there as well if you wish. And that's been a look at how you can customize the lock screen on your Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.